Tomorrow marks the fifth anniversary of what many consider the worst garment industry accident in history, the collapse of Rana Plaza at the outskirts of the capital of Bangladesh. In Bangladesh, more than 4.1 million people are employed making clothes, mostly women. Head to any fashion mall around the country and you'll find more stores than ever peddling cheap, trendy. Take a look at the tag on one of your clothing items. Where was it made? Who made it? No, not the brand. I mean who made it. Like the person. If all of the labor that went behind making an article of clothing was listed on the tag, needless to say it would be quite long. From where the materials are sourced to the seam sewn on a clothing item, people in countries across the globe make the items we wear every day. These people are victim to horrid working conditions that are a result of fast fashion. Fashion refers to the short production and distribution of clothing items that are sold at a low price point. If you walk into a shopping mall, almost all of the stores consist of fast fashion. Retailers like Forever 21, H&M, Zara, and department stores such as JCPenney, Macy's, and Primark are all notorious for using fast fashion. The history of fast fashion is closely aligned with the Industrial Revolution as beforehand clothing was all tailor-made. As the consumer class emerged, a preference for ready-made clothing began. With the Industrial Revolution came many dangerous working conditions and intensive labor for factory workers. Sweatshops became increasingly popular in the textile industry as they allowed companies to produce clothing at low costs. Workers in sweatshops are employed at very low wages and work long hours in dangerous conditions. The Triangle Shirtwaist Spire is one of the most infamous examples of such conditions. This factory that was located in New York City was a true sweatshop employing young immigrant women who worked in a cramped space at lines of sewing machines. The danger of fire in factories like the Triangle Shirtwaist was well known, but high levels of corruption in both the garment industry and the city government generally ensured that no useful precautions were taken to prevent fires. On March 25, 1911, the Triangle Shirtwaist Company factory in New York City burned, killing over 145 workers. Although the working conditions in factories across the United States have improved since the Triangle Shirtwaist fire, many companies now manufacture their clothing items abroad, where conditions are terrifyingly similar. As many developing countries do not have as strict laws regarding labor, big clothing companies are able to exploit people in such countries by using them to produce clothing for an extremely low cost. Countries such as China and Bangladesh are the world's biggest clothing manufacturers. Other countries that manufacture clothing are India, Vietnam, Indonesia, and the Philippines. Most of the textile workers in these countries come from poor villages to live and work in factories in the hopes of making enough money to support their families. However, most workers have to spend the majority of their paychecks on food for their families to survive. Women make up 85 to 90 percent of sweatshop workers and often face sexual harassment on the job. 
Some employers also force women to take birth control and routine pregnancy tests to avoid supporting maternity leave or providing appropriate health benefits. A more recent example of the detrimental effects of fast fashion was the collapse of the Rana Plaza building that occurred in Dhaka, Bangladesh in 2013. At the time, the building was being occupied by garment factories for Western companies such as Children's Place, Joe Fresh, and Walmart. Workers in the factories told their managers that they had noticed cracks in the building but were told to go back to work. At one point, the managers were even given an evacuation order that they ignored. As a result, 1,129 workers died and even more were injured. Years after the collapse of Rana Plaza, workers are still fighting for better working conditions and better pay. Textile workers around the world have been protesting for safer working conditions, better pay, or even just a living wage. The hashtag I Made Your Clothes movement was started by an organization called Fashion Revolution, whose aim is to encourage people to question where their clothes come from and who made them and at what cost. They have also given workers in the garment industry an opportunity to speak out and become recognized. Because the labels on clothing items only disclose where the item was made, many people fail to consider that the clothes we all wear are made by a human hand. From 1911 to the modern day, workers across the globe have been facing appalling working conditions all under the name of fashion. What will you do to stop the toxic spread of fast fashion? You can start by asking yourself who made your clothes. Simply buy less clothing and create new looks with items you already have. Mend your clothes instead of replacing them. Buy clothes secondhand from thrift shops and other secondhand stores. Say no to fast fashion.